Hey guys, how's your chill canine? So I'm here right now with Brent Alvey. And Brent, what kennel do you own? Um, we own Complete Canine Care for training, and our breeding program is Fall Star Bloodlines. So Brent, if you guys might not know this, Brent is the owner and handler of Rex. All right, so Rex was the dog that um, we did a YouTube video on. It was a pretty popular YouTube video um, where uh, I think it's entitled Strongest Malinois in North America. So give that video a check out and you can see for yourself. He was eight years old at the time of that video filming. Big, strong dog. He was, he was. Took us for a bit of a ride. That's right, he beat me <laughs> up pretty good. Um, and uh, that dog was notorious. Really nice dog and we bred to him. And this was the first um, breeding of Malinois and German Shepherd that we did here at Shield Canine. Um, and we bred our uh, female Charlie, which is a purebred uh, German Shepherd from Slovakian police lines, to um, Brent's dog Rex, which is a... Uh, Brent, Brent, Brent can explain the lines a bit better. Yeah, he's um, more of a Belgian blood NVBK mixed with a bit of KNPV bloodline. Um, worked out real well, very, very strong litter. Um, you know, these dogs are known for producing big grips, you know, very dominant, um, natural aggression, which is nice. You don't have to reach for it, it's there. Um, you know, very athletic, good hunt, good environment, all the things we're looking for. But they kind of also have a bit of a, an X factor to them that many dogs don't have. And uh, sometimes they're fun to have, sometimes they're not so fun to live with. But. Yeah, it's a bit of an edgier kind of dog, and some people, it's not for everybody, but it's the kind of dog that I like. So when I saw Rex and I worked Rex, I said, for sure, now I have to breed on this dog, even though I breed German Shepherds, yeah. it wasn't a problem for me. Like, I, at the end of the day, I breed the strongest dog, you know? So whether it's a German Shepherd or a Malinois, at the end of the day, I'm only interested in producing high quality functional dogs for working um, capacity. So Rex was the dog, so I bred on him. We had a litter, this was a couple years ago. I kept a female from that litter. Her name is AXA, and I co-own her with Terry over at Hardcore Canine. And um, AXA recently uh, just uh, came into heat, and I bred her to another one of Brent's dogs, because it seems like Brent's the guy with all the super strong Malinois. And this was a dog that I saw him, I haven't seen this dog in a while. What was it, a year ago? Two years ago? Two years ago. Two years ago I saw the dog. Ten he, months. Yeah, he was ten months old, and like, I gave the dog a few grips and I said, wow, this is a really, really special dog. And since then, I've followed him on uh, Brent's social media. Oh, by the way, you guys can see Brent at? Uh, on Instagram, uh, Fallen Star Bloodlines, or Mishka underscore May is my own personal one, which is just for fun. Mm -hmm. um, that's where you'd find that stuff for, for Say that. For, say your Instagram handle again. Um, Fallen Star Bloodlines and Mishka underscore May. Okay. All right, guys. So. If you want to check out Brent, go give him a give him a like and a follow on there, and uh, you can follow his dogs. Brent's got some really nice dogs, and again, again, I find myself going back to Brent, and I bred the Rex daughter that I kept to Lucifer, and Lucifer is going to be coming out today, and we're yeah. going to be putting a little heat on Lucifer, yeah. kind of seeing what he's all about. Um, because of COVID, Brent hasn't been able to work him on too, too many people. No, he's still pretty green. So he's, he's a green dog. He's pretty green. So we're really going to see the raw genetics. We're not going to see like tons of training. We're going to see the genetic capacity of the dog. And I always say you're not breeding to training, you're breeding to genetics. So that's my primary consideration. Yeah. Yeah. He's a big grip. He's a strong dog. He's a one man type dog, which I personally like. Um, pros and cons to every dog, but man, he works good. So. I can't wait to bring him out today and put some heat on him. Yeah, I need a few extra bruises. All my bruises have faded, so we're going to get a few more bruises today. And um, we're going to be working uh, a number of Brent's dogs. So what's the mm -hmm. first dog you're bringing? Uh, we're bringing out Evil. Uh, she's a female. I imported from Germany. Um, has the same father as Lucifer. Um, going to be part of my breeding program at uh, Fallen Star. And um, we're just waiting for her to get a little bit older to do some health testing. But right now, she's a very nice female. Very green. Um, I worked her a little bit after teething and before, but since then, really haven't worked her due to just being very busy. Um, so we're going to bring her out as a green dog and um, build her up, show her the picture. Um, after that, we've got a soul leader. Do that after. Okay. We're, we'll we'll introduce each dog as they come. Otherwise, you guys will forget it. Okay. So how old is she? Around a year, just under a year. Year old. Okay. So very green. We're going to use the chomp. 
uh, with her, we'll just go for a Belgian sleeve. Belgian sleeve, yeah, inner we'll, arm, outer arm. We'll probably start with the four and make sure okay. it looks good there, and then we'll switch to the bicep. Okay. Uh, she usually does whatever she'll bite whatever you put in front of her, but we'll just show the correct pictures. Yeah, we're just gonna feel her out, see where she's at, what she needs to be worked on. Um, you know, it's gonna be a training session, not a testing session. Yeah. So we're gonna bring her out and get after it. Yep. some grips with him. Uh, one thing I like to do with the new dogs when they come in the room if they haven't been in here before, is I like them to just walk around a little bit, acclimate, instead of bringing them in and putting the heat on them right away, or putting work on them. Just let them come in and acclimate. That's the big thing. So this is Soul Eater. Let him walk around first. Yeah, yeah. And you can see he comes in, he's nice, nice and open. He's very curious though. So, let him explore and kind of get his curiosity out of his, uh, Brady there, he's by the sleeve. How old is he, Grant? Two. Two? Two. Two. Two.